so good evening hello here's the uh, proteus 2000 i'll be looking at this evening here is the laptop that i want to connect to the proteus with prodatum to edit a voice so i'm going to try and find prodatum now here it is and it's already connected via a midi to usb cable to the laptop um, current voice is the default voice that comes up nice uh, piano sound and I just thought I'd have a look at creating a voice from scratch from the default voice so I'm going to change this number for the voice I pop it to the bank one change it back one to go to 127 saves so a lot of skipping two three f and there's oh there it is default so it's a default user so I'm going to now save copy that preset uh, that um, try to draw that down to two take that round to zero again put that bank to zero and then step forward uh, oh, it's jumped that's the uh, the encoder that needs sorting out I suppose my first uh, saved preset there's there we go so 23 is my I, I level mine my so I know which one it is to there so I'm going to save it to there this is now the default uh, at the moment now I've got to um, refresh this uh, so on the units at the moment we're on voice 24 on here it's still showing dynamic grand so if I scroll down here to 24 double click on it it updates the value and now it just says default there default here um, so I'm now going to go to edit preset name pop down to here the first character is the exclamation mark and then save it as my default so I know what I'm dealing with when I come back to it in the future probably a quick way to do this I just don't know it G H I J K L M. let's go backwards no right just get to the Y at some point Slowly, slowly. This shows you need a lot of patience to work on these old machines. There we go. And I'll, I'll save the preset with the new name. So that number 24. Now it's my default. This hasn't yet updated. So I'll uh, double click it. In fact, that hasn't updated it, so I'll click that one and then I'll click back here and now it's updated. Right, okay, there's probably another way to do that and I don't know it. So, at the moment now, on this voice, on the unit, there's no sound at all. There's no, see where it says voice one to four, they're all greyed out and blank. Um, if I press a key on this little keyboard over here on this side, there's absolutely no sound. If I go to a, another uh, sound, why, why is that not changing? I don't know. Um, take that off. There we go. So now it's changed it. Hooray. Let's see if that plays. Yeah, so that that's that's working. So I'll change that to the blank one again. Um, I wonder why we've got the uh, 
ou no só é. Uh, okay, so that's finishing, which is great. It's probably an effect thing, I would guess. Uh, I've got the preset uh, effects display and I've got effects on bypass, as you can see there, just so that we don't have uh, the um, effects making any noises. Uh, so I want to uh, make a voice. So I'll start, uh, click on voice one here. And then you've got all these on the left hand side that are different uh, waveforms for us to uh, choose. Um, there's a piano one. Um, yeah, so that's what that sounds like. Uh, I'm going to scroll down here to where it says WAV because they're just basic WAV files. Here we go. So there's quite a lot of these. There's some Vox ones. I want just like a, a saw wave. So um, what a feedback wave sounds like. Okay, sounds like a trumpet. Interesting. Um, Arp, Arp lead, metal. I'm looking for a saw wave. Have we got any saw waves here? Square waves, worm lead, sine waves, sawtooth. Okay, so we'll, we'll have a sawtooth wave. Go to main, check it out. There we go. Sawtooth wave. Let's put a sawtooth wave on voice two. Uh, let's scroll down to wave again. Missed it. Uh, same wave, sawtooth wave, and let's have a listen. Now I'm just going to detune slightly. Nice. Uh, if I had a MIDI keyboard, I'd be able to play it and fiddle about with the fine tune as well, but I haven't got that, so. I'll have to just have a little play with the mouse. Yeah. So that's your classic uh, synth type uh, for stabby chords and trance and stuff like that. Well, it's just a detuned saw wave. Yeah, and let's just pop that back up. You can see over here the value is changing. So that allows you to um, see what value you're actually putting in here, as well as the rough idea. So that's the, the two waves playing at the same time. However, uh, within the voice parameters, as you probably already know but may not know, we also have envelopes. Uh, these envelopes are um, interesting to have a look at, for me anyway. So I'm going to click on, this is another handy tip um, help that comes up on the ProDatum site. So drag factory preset stuff and then what the time does. So I'll pop it on time there and this is the volume envelope for voice one. There's the volume envelope for voice two, which is the factory one. So we'll pop that on time as well. So we can alter the time thing. So on volume envelope one, let's give it a bit of time to build up, go a lot and drop off. Volume two, we'll have it come on straight away, but then um, fade away. Let's have a see what that sounds like. Now, I don't know if you can catch that. What we'll do is we'll just detune it slightly. And we'll see what happens with that. So, 
So, uh, that's an interesting sound. And this as well, my uh, good, good ladies just come in, um, is all on the classic filter. So we'll take the filter off and see what that sounds like without the filter. So already I, I, I like that. Uh, and if you want it to sound bigger, obviously, then you go to voice three and give another wave. And there we go. So two to one, so exactly the same wave. Put it on time. And with this, we can have a little play with the values. Perhaps have it coming on quick initially, dropping off, and then another decay there. So that's slightly different to voice two and voice one. So let's have a listen what that sounds like. difference really. Let's just tune that off slightly. So, what would happen? I'll mute that and mute that. And let's have a listen to the original one. Yeah. Uh, so that's building up slowly. Voice two is fast, dropping off. So if we drop that down more and give this more time to resonate. and then cut off. Then we shall see if that makes any difference. I'll have a brew, yes, if you're making a brew, that's fine. Uh, it's fine, it's a kettle. Um, so, uh, And now the microwave as well, great. Yes, please, darling. Um, so what we have now is the kettle sound in the back, which is not reproducible by this unit, but I'm sure you can put the kettle on yourself, get a brew. Um, that'll help you to sustain through this video. And you can warm up a wheat bag, uh, as my wife's doing. It's a nice lavender smell. Uh, just to keep your neck warm or similar whilst you're uh, looking at this. The uh, the fridge door opening and closing also will be an interesting sample possibility. Meantime, uh, back to the to the sound. So, ah, see, I didn't realise that, but apparently you can press it on, a short riff will be programmed to play. Right. So, if I click main, that takes me to there. Master. That's the arpeggiator. Master without. That's the arpeggiator. Where's the riff, I wonder? Voice one, instrument. I don't know where the riff is. That's the keyboard. Main channel audition, master arpeggiator. Well, I suppose we could always put the arpeggiator on, could we? Can we do that? Click on active and then audition. No. Uh, so I don't know how to do that, I've forgotten. Or something like that. Uh, oh! 
there you go, you click over there on program and then riff comes up over here. Uh, so instead of just playing one key, C3, uh, we'll have it playing uh, this bass riff, bad tube. How about that? Let's now see, take program off, audition it. Oh, I like it. Let's work on voice four then. I could listen to that all night. Might do. My flight is is dancing. Um, so, so in real time, perhaps. So, did you hear the change there? Now I can, I think. as opposed to voice. Not sure about that. Anyway, while we're here, we might as well have a look at the filter envelope. Sure you can come. Ah, there's the copy. So, volume envelope, from voice 3, copy the envelope to voice 4. Target there, double click there to copy. So there, now voice 4 has that, well, so if we just alter that slightly so it's out of phase, there we go, We've got a different wave in there. We can... Oh, there we go, we can see all three filters and amplitude as well. So we can extend the amplitude on. Brilliant filter and go negative. That's awesome. Let's try voice one. Let's let's, let's do the negative thing. It's not bad being negative, you know, being negative, negative. So that'll come back up again. Now I'm doing all this and there's no filter on any of this yet. So just be ready to be amazed. I'm ready to be amazed and I don't even know if it's going to be amazing. But I'm guessing that something's going to happen. I'm going to go back to voice one. Uh, voice one. Where do I get... Oh, take master off. I'll put master on. I don't know. Where do I get filter? 
there, shouldn't it? Patch cords. Main. Ah, there it is. Just main, not master. Now let's put. And then we'll put maybe. Just using the same wave four times with different settings. Uh, I wonder what that would sound like. Just solo that one. Shift Mega Sweep. Let's try that one. Right, so uh, EQ swept one octave. Three minutes could just be so I'll, I'll almost finish it there I think so if it put some effects on it I mean I mean goodness me I mean what I, d I don't know um, weird I uh, don't know what brush would choose I mean panning delay So I hope that was um, something. Uh, well, I know it was something. I'm not sure if it was inspiring. Um, but maybe you'll have a play and come up with something better than that. Um, I'll probably be having a play tomorrow again, maybe. Um, in which case I'll... Uh, maybe just gently have a... Have a look at um, what I can do with this sort of uh, thing, um, and if I find anything interesting tomorrow, then possibly I can 
have a little uh, record of the thing. Maybe you could. Maybe you could um, have a go at uh, generating a, a video so that I could learn something more than I know already. Uh, that'd be fun. Uh, and I would appreciate the uh, the input. Uh, so, uh, so maybe maybe hear from you from tomorrow, tomorrow, and you maybe hear from me from tomorrow. tomorrow. I, don't know. I don't know. We shall, we see. shall see. See you later.